And this is when do you end things? Meaning, if you're in a marriage, you're not happy or whatever. I think this is a bit of event as well as being genuinely interested in all of your experiences and thought. Early tollies together approximately 10 years married seven. Honestly, when do you give up? I feel like I'm torn between wanting to accept and hold on to the beautiful Success, successful part of our relationship the way it works uh, I'm sorry guys <laughs> he does everything in one house oh so that's coming from a girl he's a bit silly sometimes which I like he's hard working, he's loving he's trying to be supportive and kind but on the other I feel disappointed and unfulfilled almost every day in some way it feel like knocking together two puzzles piece that fit all right in some corners but the big picture is only half a line and only you have to squint to see it we talk and talk ongoingly and in the land about how to make things better and how to be better for and with each other but we just seem to fall short all the time in a myriad of ways but it's not like relationships are perfect no relationship is perfect and every relationship is lacking in some way so how and what do you do is marriage just this is it supposed to be just suitable enough fine because maybe I just need to buck up and be grateful because we find this is what I'm getting from this and this is not an attack on you uh, lady Early toys together approximately 10 years, married 7. When do you just give up? I feel like I'm torn between 1 to a 7. Okay, uh, well, my biggest question is, do y'all have kids together? That's a big thing. But, hold on on that. He does everything. I right, so you like him, you're just bored. Women always think the grass is greener on the other side. You've been with him for too much, you just bored of him basically. Uh, yeah, it looks like you just bored with the guy. It's not that you don't like him. It's like the situation. I love you, I'm just not in love with you. Oh, I've changed. It's not you, it's me. And I don't know his side of the story. Which just seems to fall short. Look like you just want something better. Uh, look like you don't have nothing better but you just think you can find something better than your situation that's what it looks like to me and a lot of women do that they always think they can do better or they can find something better um, so but to answer the question when do you end things sadly if you feel this way you should end it just to just just having that thought in your mind yo when should when 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 is it enough when you think it's when you're thinking like that it's enough it's time for you to go lady it's time for you guys to divorce because you want to hey when do you feel unfaithful what is missing all right let me comment let me comment on this i would understand real life Alright, this is in the marriage where it. Alright. 
if you fail you uh, <laughs> sorry guys this is live I based on the title you should end it soon let's let's be a little more you know you should end it soon because of how you feel okay I'm gonna say woman because I don't wanna feel like this is an attack on her uh, some woman I don't want to sound sexist and I'm not some women feel they can always do better um because she feel like something is missing uh some women feel like there's Okay, I'm sorry guys. Some women feel like they can always do better. Some women feel like there's now let's put like this. The grass is greener on the other side. Okay. Sound like you just born. It sound like those it's not me it's no way it's not you it's me uh, I love you but I'm not Mm. Wish, wish you situation in it now if if you not in a one hundred. If you are not in one hundred, if you are not in one hundred percent in the relationship, relationship. Zoom in Pure TV. What is my saying? Why do you feel unfaithful? What is missing? Save the post. Save this post because I need the same advice. I just cannot tell if it really isn't meant to be or I'm just giving up easy. Hope you. Okay. All right. Here's the thing, guys. If you're in a situation where you're in doubt, maybe it shouldn't be about doubt. If you are sitting here, just be like. I don't know if I'm feeling this. Then you are not feeling it. Now, when kids are involved, fuck. Well, we make a lot of sacrifices. Like because of the kids, I was not feeling for a long time, but I stayed for the kids. Some people say this is bad, but you know the timing wasn't right. They were still young, you know. But she obviously wasn't feeling it either. But you know. Because the way she was acting, but I don't know. I think if it's time to end things, you won't question it. You need, you know, you need to for your own self happiness. Doesn't want to keep trying, 
maybe it's questioning this as well. I don't like the one with thing. I don't like the one with thing. If she's not happy, fuck I fuck how you feel. This will end it. This is just she just posted this, so there's not a lot of comments. I'm in a similar similarly, both from the male perspective. From my perspective, I think there's this point in marriage, especially if you started out young, where you start to understand yourself and you grow. That's why I don't get married. I hate that fucking. It's a true explanation or reason, but I fucking hate it. Oh, we grew apart. Then don't get married. Don't get married young. Don't get married in your 20, 30s, 40s because you grew apart. Everybody good man. This happened on both sides. That's why I should just stay single. Unless you plan to go apart in five years and lose your shit. It's hard to like stay connected to that because you individually trying to navigate this process and then when it's over you will as you both kind of different people now. You have to almost reset your relationship I think. I don't know if this is everybody, but it seems to be my experience. Uh, there's a good book called Too Good to Live to Bed to Stay. Too Good to Live to Bed to Stay by Mara. It's made for a situation like yours. What you guys think?